Wilson Logistics Paid CDL Training Day 2. I just wrapped up day two. I just got back to the hotel. Um, it was a little more exciting than yesterday. I got to do a little more things, but I didn't get to drive yet today, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, we started out the day with going to the Montana DMV and getting our written test done to get our Montana CDL permits. Uh, I passed on the first try, all three tests, air brake, general knowledge, and combination. Four of us in the group total, three of us passed, one did not. So he gets to take a retake tomorrow. If he fails that, he gets to go home, unfortunately. So I hope he makes it. Um, after that, we went back to the place, watched some videos on the pre-trip and everything, went to lunch, came back, and I got to do the simulator. We each had three rounds on the simulator. A couple of us didn't do too great. I thought I did pretty well. And then after that, we watched more videos. And that was it. The day went by a little faster than yesterday. We weren't sitting around as much. So that's good. Um, I got to talk to the uh, training and safety manager, Casey Bridgewater. Pretty cool guy. Uh, he laid out some interesting info to me today. Um, so they're going to break us in and get us doing driving and coupling and all that stuff hands-on tomorrow and he's hoping that we'll all be able to go out with our trainers by friday so that gives me about three days to mess around in the yard to maneuver the trucks around and then i'm going to be going with a trainer um i thought i was going to be gone i'm going to be gone for two weeks i'm supposed to be gone for two weeks with the trainer come back take a test i thought i was going to be gone a total of a month and then go home for a little bit but it turns out I'm gonna, by the, by the sounds of it, I'm gonna be gone for almost about three months until uh, until I'm a seat. So, and he was um, recommending to us because I thought originally I'm gonna be gone for when I'm doing the job by myself that I'm going to be gone for two weeks at a time and then home for a week, and then two weeks gone home for a week. But turns out he was recommending that we were gonna be for us to be gone for four weeks. We're going to be gone for four weeks, come back home for like two to four days, and go out for another four weeks. So, it's going to pay good, but I'm going to be hardly home at all. I mean, technically, I don't really need to be home. I have no family or anything. I just live with a roommate. So, you know, I was basically living on my own, in my own truck. I look forward to it. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing Western Regional, so Western 11 states, from West Coast to basically East Colorado. I asked him if I can do the Great Plains from North Dakota to Texas because I have an interest in meteorology. I want to see at least a few tornadoes before the year's up. And he's like, well, that's up to the higher ups. Um, we're going to try to get the Plains states added to the Western region. I was like, okay, that'd be kind of cool. But then he said we could also switch jurisdictions and jump around to jurisdictions if we wanted to. So anyway, yeah, that wraps up day two. On to day three for tomorrow. And I'll be finally getting behind the wheel. So see you then.